The Eastern Melbourne PHN is committed to supporting vulnerable members of our community, ensuring people receive the right care in the right place at the right time. Sometimes this means taking the care out to where people are, as in the case of our mobile influenza immunisation program, which is now in its second year. Influenza is a highly contagious disease that can be fatal to people in high risk groups. Those at high risk include homeless people, children, older people and those with severe chronic conditions. During the winter months we often see a large increase in hospital presentations for influenza. In 2016, 22% of viral influenza emergency department presentations in Victoria came from people living in the north and east of Melbourne. In response to this significant health issue, Eastern Melbourne PHN commissioned three organisations to provide free flu vaccinations to protect the most vulnerable people in our community. These providers link Health and Community, City of Whittlesea and each are vaccinating people across eight local government areas. Nearly 4,000 people have already received a vaccination through this program. This will result in fewer people having to attend hospital with flu. So today we're at Melba Park, where at the moment we're setting up for a lot of people that are homeless to access some food, find out about different services, and most importantly, get their flu vaccination for the season. A lot of people that are at risk are those that aren't able to, you know, keep their, their health in terms of their nutrition, shelter, accessing doctors. And a lot of the time, people from low socioeconomic backgrounds, those stats increase in those population groups. So they're really one of the most people in need. Listen, it's been really good and Faye has done a very valuable service down here. I think there'll be a lot of people who benefit from this because of the, the conditions they live in and some of the services and, and these guys would never have gotten the flu shot or gone to a doctor without Faye coming out to see them. So. Well today we're at um, Council's Jindy Family and Community Centre. Um, it's a public session for our residents so they don't need to have an appointment. Uh, we've advertised free flu to all our residents via Facebook and Instagram, other social media outlets and we're just really happy that we've got this funding um, to be able to do it. The City of Whittlesea was identified as having one of the largest hospitalisations due to influenza in 2016 and 2017. So the program is vital to reduce this burden of disease. Message to say it's available again. I make the most of it to be honest. The yeah. um, Whittlesea Council has been really good. So, yeah. see the same faces every time I come for his immunization. So, yeah. yeah. And um, Harvey seems quite comfortable. Yeah. Only because he doesn't know what's happening. Yet. <laughs> I have vaccinated in corners, in corridors, out of the back of the car, on the boot of the car. We're very versatile nurses. <laughs> it's been an absolutely fantastic project and we're very, very passionate about it. And I think the, the main things we've learned is that the numbers of vulnerable people in the community are huge. The volunteers who provide the services, the winter shelters, the community meals, the food pantries, and just the uh, general information of helping um, uh, our community has just been amazing. We think we're vaccinating in our sleep at the moment. We've given so many jabs, but again, we're really passionate about this project and we would love to see it um, extended into next year. It's a good note to retire on, can I say that? A really good note to retire on. So the program has been an overwhelming success. Uh, it's really been able to take the services to where people are and that's been a great achievement of the program and we're looking forward to continuing to fund it into 2019.